influenza is a virus that comes each year. Uh, in South Africa, it roughly starts around about March and continues up until June or July. Uh, the virus itself can cause a number of different problems, both in children as well as in the adults. But it's really children under the age of two years of age, as well as children that have other sort of underlying conditions that are at greater risk of developing severe disease from the virus itself. Now, what type of diseases can this influenza virus cause? The type of illnesses it causes includes ear infections or sore throats, but more importantly and of much greater concern to us as pediatricians, are those children that actually develop infections in the lung, what we call pneumonia. In addition to which, children that have asthma can find that their asthma become much more severe when they become infected with this particular virus. So the benefits of vaccination of children against influenza is that it protects those children, and especially children with underlying lung conditions or underlying heart conditions or even underlying brain conditions, it protects those children from developing the severe complications of influenza, which, as I mentioned, are basically infections of the lung or acute exacerbation of underlying conditions such as asthma. So even though the vaccine doesn't provide 100% certainty that one would actually be protected against influenza, there's a very high chance that the protection would be at least 75% in terms of reduced complications from the, from the infection itself. There is a misconception uh, in the general public, as well as among some doctors, that people that get vaccinated with influenza vaccine tend to get more severe illness from influenza. And that is a misconception and it's completely incorrect. So the type of vaccine that we have available in South Africa is what we refer to as an inactivated vaccine, which means that a vaccine itself doesn't contain any live virus, which is what, would you, what you would require to actually become sick or to become ill with influenza. The vaccine actually just contains a component of the influenza virus. It's an inactivated subunit of the virus. So it certainly cannot cause an individual from becoming ill from influenza itself. The vaccine itself is given as an injection, and the type of side effects is not uncommon to any injection that an individual will receive. And those side effects are basically some tenderness at the area where the vaccine has been given, some redness, and occasionally one might develop a very low-grade fever, a mild fever that might last a day or so. But what the vaccine does not cause is that it does not cause a person to actually develop influenza. Very, very uncommonly, one might actually develop a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine. Uh, the vaccine preparation itself involves processing in eggs. At least that is a vaccine that we have available in South Africa. So if there is a strong history of egg allergy, one might want to avoid the vaccine. But like I said, that is a really, really uncommon complication uh, and not something that one would really be concerned about unless one has had a severe anaphylactic reaction to eggs. In the private sector, the vaccine is even more widely available. It's available through nurses that run immunization clinics. It's available from the general practitioners. It's also available from some pediatricians. In addition to which, you also find that many of the large companies uh, that have uh, sort of little pharmacies in them, including Dischem, including uh, Clicks, etc., would actually have the vaccine available. Mm -hmm.